What's up everybody on Badass Games? I finally made a video so don't complain. And that's all I've got. That, I'm tapped out. <laughs> but in all seriousness, welcome back to Tomb Raider 3. It's been two weeks since I last posted the high security compound and today we're going to continue on with Area 51. It is a very long level, kind of a dark level. I'm sorry for the lack of posts, but I've been busy. As you should know, I'm in school. Fourth of July came through last weekend, or actually, yeah, this weekend I got called back up to my grandma's place because they needed help with my grandpa. But you know, I'm I I don't know how often I'm gonna be able to post videos from now on, but we'll see. And I've gotten a lot of complaints about my videos being dark, so what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna play. I usually play with the lights off, but now I'm playing with the lights on, so that way if I can't see, I'll light a flare like right now. And over here to the left, as soon as you enter, there's a small med pack where there's a box lacking in the arrangement. Now there is going to be a guy that comes around this corner we want to unload on him as soon as we possibly can before he gets to that touch pad. Because if he touches that pad, he's going to activate these lasers that are going to block you from entering this room and claiming the MP5. And we're going to want this MP5 for sure. It is uh, a great alternative to the um, Desert Eagle and we don't have too much Desert Eagle ammo. You guys sent me here last. I need as much as I can for Antarctica. There will be some times when I use the Desert Eagle, but there will be some times when I use the MP5 also. So to exit this area, there's a button on that wall which opens this grate, and now we can crawl through, and to the right, there is going to be a large med pack. So let's get that. And to continue, there is a crawl space here near the ceiling, and we're gonna get let me um, light a flare because it's pretty dark here. Uh, there's a laser thing here. Now, we can easily avoid it by ducking underneath it, but be careful because uh, it doesn't kill you instantly, but it takes away a lot of life, and that's something I don't want to do. I'm trying to minimize the damage that I take. Okay, so I got a comment here from Angel Rose 2121 and she thinks that it's sexist um, for her to be relying on manpower. Um, instead of having a hand-to-hand -hand style combat. Now, I'm not sure how to decipher that. I'm not sure if she means that it's sexist for men or sexist for women. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not sure. And it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not sexist or racist by any means. But let me put something into perspective for you guys. Okay, so... Is it racist to have a black restroom and a white restroom? If it is, then would it not be sexist to have a men's restroom and a women's restroom? <laughs> Just some food for thought there, guys. I don't mean anything by that. I don't think we should have black and white restrooms, and we should put men and women in the same restroom. I'm just saying, you know, got to think of it that way, too. So uh, there's a guy that you saw there pass by, and we're going to pull this lever, and it's going to let this guy out. He's going to go straight for him, hopefully gets to him before he turns on the... Oh, he turned the lasers on anyway. doesn't matter. That's the only guy that I really don't mind if he gets to his touchpad, because he doesn't do anything by doing that. Small med pack here, by the way, behind this door. Um, by turning these lasers off, he blocks me from him. It blocks him from me, and I can still crawl underneath this wire to or this laser to get where I need to go over here in this crawl space. And I'm just not going to worry about the guy. He doesn't drop anything. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool that he did that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. But you can actually get him to not press that button. You can actually release that prisoner to go and beat him up. So there's the guy right there. And he won't cross these lasers either. He'll activate that turret if he does, so... Yeah, pretty crazy. Okay, now, there's going to be another guy. He has he does not have a gun, does not have a rifle. But I'm going to take him out quickly with my MP5 anyway, because he wants to press a touchpad. And he'll shut off. he'll shut me off from items if he does that. So we want to kill him before he gets to that thing, and this is this would have been the room that he would have shut off had he was had he been successful. There's some harpoons, some grenades, and a rocket inside of this room. That button there will shut this door to the room. So I mean, you can press it if you want, but you're going to end up pressing it again to open the door. Just don't even worry about it. Over here is a lever, and it's going to open up these trap doors underneath Lara, and we're going to slide down. I'm going to actually grab my Desert Eagle because i got to kill somebody really quickly here before he gets to a touchpad. And it looks like I was able to get him. Yeah, he, was, he didn't get knew it, but he's got to die really quickly, otherwise he uh, 
um, presses that button and shuts you off from a secret. And we definitely don't want that to happen, because we want to get that secret. And you'll know if he presses that button, because there will be a couple dogs that will hop out at you that you don't expect. So yeah. By the way, I picked up some grenades just then, and right here are some shotgun shells. Great. And now, there's going to be a guy down here with a nightstick, so we can use our pistols on him, if you feel safe doing so. Where is he? There he is. Gotcha! Wow. Uh -huh. All right, let me light a flare. It's pretty dark in here. Okay, so, um, I forgot to press a button up above, but I'll do that here in a second. Right here is the gate that would have been shut if you would have let him touch that touchpad and release the dogs. Inside of here was a save crystal. I don't think you guys saw that, but, yeah, that's what was here. And straight ahead of me is the passageway to go, but I forgot to actually press the lever that's up here in order to continue on. So let's go do that real quick. It's just right around this, um... Thing. Here, let me light another flare for you. It's right here on the wall. So it opens that gate, and now we can go down there and continue on with the level. Now, inside of here, if you go to the right, I think my flare is going to die here in a second. There are some eagle, desert eagle clips, so grab those for sure. Because who doesn't like the desert eagle? If you don't like the Desert Eagle, then shame on you. And there's also some uh, MP5 clips here. I don't know how well you can see those, but they're right here in the corner. And now let's get this these pistols ready again. Down here is another guy with a nightstick, so we can easily take him out with our pistols without losing any life. He drops a small med pack. And once we have that, let's go back this way into the red lit area and release a prisoner. He's going to go and take care of some guys for me. Hopefully he doesn't bug out. Sometimes he bugs and... We'll see, though. There he goes. And while he's out there murdering some guys, I'm going to come in here and claim a large med pack and the little hole that he's dug. Grab that thing, back up, and then head on out. And he took care of this guy for me, which is pretty nice of him. And now hopefully he uh, continues on, because there's a couple of other guys. And for some reason he's able to go through laser beams without getting hit. And uh, if you don't believe me... I mean, there's laser beams around this corner here, and he's just about to go straight through those things. Look at that. How does he do it? I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want to go that way anyway, because over here, there's a couple of drops that we can pick up. There's a large med pack here, just inside of this crawl space, and then down below, we claim yet another weapon, a shotgun, and that's useful for sure. So now that we have that stuff, let's crawl through here. It sounds like he got rid of another guy for me, so that's cool. Let's hope he got rid of the guy down there at the end of the hallway. Didn't look like it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take care of him myself. So let me grab the MP5 here. And then now as soon as she points her weapon, just unload on him. And then as soon as he drops, just hop around and he shouldn't. These guys like to get like a last final shot off on you. And if you're uh, careful, you can avoid that. So. Now straight ahead here, oh, I should mention these buttons. There's a button on this panel and one on the other side. All they do is show you what's inside the room. That's it. They don't do anything else. So, um, what's going to happen here is as soon as I step on the tiles in front of me, those two doors on the left and right are going to open and the doors up there are going to shut. Oh, there he is. Hi. Here, kill these guys for me, please. Oh, they got, got some off on me. That's fine. I'm just going to get out of here. Let's go underneath here. I'm trying to minimize my damage because at the very end of this um, 
level, there's a secret, and you have to fall down from the secret, and it takes away a lot of life. So I have to make sure that I don't lose too much. How much should I lose? Not much. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good off. I think it takes away about half of your life, so as long as I have half my life toward the end of the level, I'll be fine. He's got one down, so he's going to take care of this last guy for me. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. There he is. Beat him up. What are you waiting for, man? I like how the guy with the rifle just lets it happen. He's looking for me. Doesn't care about the other guy. You gonna kill him or not? Good grief! He's taking forever. Well, I'm gonna have to skip ahead if this takes too long. There we go. I guess I just had to entice him or something. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. He's finally down, and he. I think one of these guys drops a small med pack. Maybe it was this guy. Yes. Here it is. Let's grab this thing. And now, the doors that were ahead of me, that you saw the guy, the prisoner come out of just a little bit ago, are now shut. So we can't go that way. What we gotta do is we gotta pull this lever, and it's gonna open up the grate inside of this room, and it's gonna allow us to crawl through that. And this is the way to go. And I got a comment here from Mr. Cover Artist, and he says, Our beautiful Lara survived being locked up in a prison full of thugs without getting gang raped. Wow, she must have been really stinky. <laughs> oh, I laughed. I laughed at that. It was funny. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so... Let's get our pistols ready. Now these, um, lasers right here, you, you, they're non-lethal, but you have to run through them to act, and it's gonna activate alarm, but whatever. It's not gonna do much. You don't shut yourself off from any secrets or anything like that, so... No biggie. Just make sure you kill that guy with a nightstick. Use your pistols. He, uh, doesn't have a weapon. A ranged weapon. So... Okay, now... Up here, there's gonna be a guy with a rifle. Oh, he got one off on me. That's fine. And he knows I'm here now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna... Oh. Well, if she'd stop being weird. Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Alright, I'm trying to do this. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been trying to do. <laughs> Jump side to side, just get a couple shots off on him. He won't fire at you, and you don't take away any life. And you don't waste any ammo. Which is very nice. He should die here really quickly. Okay, he's dead. Now that he is dead, let's go over to his corpse and pick up the code clearance disc that he drops. This code clearance disc is going to allow us to access another guy to kill who drops yet another key of some kind. I believe it's the hangar access key. So let's pick this up and go do these things that I speak of. So heading back this way, this is the way that I came from basically. And when I came up the ramp, I had to, I had to the right. I went to the right. There is a passageway to the left, and a big open room that you can go into. But you won't be able to do much in there, except for maybe claim a secret without the code clearance disc that I just claimed. And also, there are lasers on the ground that are going to activate a turret that's in the corner. Okay, so there are the lasers. You can maybe see the turret. But uh, you can hop over here. They intersect there. The turret's up there. Um, the code clearance disc goes right here in this panel. It's going to lift the rocket that's on the conveyor there. And that's going to let us access up above where the guy with the hangar access key is. But before we go up there, we're actually going to claim a secret. I'm going to turn this music off. Alright, so down here is the item of interest. It's just a save crystal. It's all that is in here. And then we can leave. And I also got another comment here 
from the Super Big Ben, who got five thumbs up on this one. He says, uh, so this high security has low security in late hours and can be flooded easily and the doors can be opened with buttons. This place is worse than the offshore rig in Tomb Raider 2. And, yeah, I mean, that place was not very high security. I mean, they, uh, something went wrong with the naming of that place, I suppose. On this ledge, there are some shotgun shells. And also, over here in the corner... And get in there is a uh, small med pack. So now that we have those items, let's go. And standing between these two white mounts, supports for that rocket, and do a running jump over to this ladder. With that rocket lowered, we wouldn't have been able to get over here. So, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to hope that I don't fall off here because. I was recording earlier and I fell off and I took so much damage I couldn't finish this without using a med pack, so I had to start over. So yeah, I'm to that point where I'm starting over if I take too many, take too much damage. All right, so I'm gonna use my M14. I selected the M14. Stupid flare. Oh, MP5. I call it an M14. My bad. I had 214 ammo. Maybe that's where I got that from. So anyway, he's over there in the right corner. So I want to get his attention. And then I'm going to uh, watch him run around while I shoot him, shoot him down. And there we go. And I don't think I took too much damage, so I should be pretty good. Pretty well off, I would say. He drops this hangar access key. And now we're going to go back close to where I came from, I suppose. It's near the rocket, where um, the large rocket. Okay, I took a little bit of damage. Whatever. You could probably get down safer on the other side. I should have just went down over there. Oh well. A little bit of damage is not going to hurt me. That's a contradiction. Okay, so the hangar access key. I hit the wall. It's going to go into a keyhole down here. It's at the other end of this area here. You don't need to fall in this hole just yet. So we can just bypass that for now. The hangar access key goes into this hole of some kind that accepts keys. And we're going to draw our pistols. There's going to be a, um, a guy with a nightstick just chilling there. Not going to know what hit him. Well, I guess he didn't know what hit him, but doesn't drop anything. So screw him. Slide of flare, it's kind of dark. And run along the track here to the end of this area and climb up. There's a ladder here. Up here, there is a button that's going to call some sort of trolley, train, subway, whatever you want to call it thing. So let's press this button, call that thing. And I'm going to throw the flare here. Don't want to fall off without grabbing the edge. Okay, and it called that green thing you see right there. And it's going to let us get access to uh, up above. So here we want to crawl underneath the track and climb up this ladder. Up here there is some uh, shotgun shells. So get those and then head on over to this train of some kind and hop up here. Now inside of here there's a couple there's uh, two ways that I know that you can do this. You can use the way that they I think they expect you to do by climbing up and then trying to avoid the beam, but I'm gonna do a quicker way. Watch wait for that thing to go away and well I should throw my flare first. Do a running jump. And then grab, press grab on your on your descent, and you should make that. In order to line yourself up decently, you should um, take one step up onto the step that I did. You, I just do what I did, and you should make that if you decide to do that. Do it that way. Now over here, I got my pistols. Okay, do a running jump and grab in the air to prevent from hitting the ceiling, and then take this guy out. He's gonna go up and um, call another guard who has a rifle. 
and we don't want that. And I missed some shotgun shells back there, but I gotta go back that way anyway, so I'll get those later. Let's continue on up here for now. And up here, this is the hangar, and inside, oh, there's some beams of lasers. Also, let's hop over these things before I show you what's in the hangar, if you don't already know. Oh, that was close. I thought for sure I was going to touch that laser beam. It's a UFO, if you want to call it that. I don't like UFO. I don't like that word. Why? Because it's identified. We know what it is. It's an alien spacecraft. So how could it be an unidentified flying object if it's neither unidentified nor flying? It's kind of floating there, I suppose, but... Okay, so... Yeah. Grab these pistols and kill this guy. He's gonna go and press a button that's gonna call some of his friends. But if we take care of him, we won't worry about that. those friends. Now we got some buttons that we gotta press. And each button that we press, there's only two of them, is gonna call a guard with a rifle, so we gotta be very careful. And we gotta try not to get hit by these, uh by these guards. So this is going to open up a door. Let me grab my MP5. I'm going to tumble. He, she's going to point at the turret. Don't shoot the turret, because the turret will shoot you back. Die! Got you. And these guys don't drop anything, so it's not necessary to worry about what they pick, what they drop. Okay, so these doors are also timed. You probably just heard it shut. And so we gotta be quick, well, with the sequence of pressing them. Press this button, and it's going to... Uh, she's gonna target that turret again. But there's another guy down here. Ah! Gotcha. He didn't take away too much life. I should be good to go to get that last secret. Okay, so that button opened up these doors, and also allowed that floor to be there. It raised a couple trap doors. So, to be safe, I'm actually going to redo this. I gotta wait for those doors to close again and that trap door to fall in order to do the proper sequence. Now clearly that first door with the trap door has a longer timer than the other one. Finally it went. Okay. So that is the order you need to press them in. Is You use a longer timer than the shorter timer. Just makes sense. So, open up those doors, and then we want to run across and press this button over here. We are timed right now, just reiterating that fact. So, those doors are open, and now we got to get through there. And I'm pretty sure I got plenty of time. And here we are. Now we gotta be quick. There are three levers here that we gotta pull. This is one of them. The second from the left. And then we can do a side jump. And we can press this lever. You can tell if you're pulling the right ones. If you see that uh, cutscene where you see the door. Um, and finally you press the, the third one. It'll open. And there's a guy behind the cabinet, which is why I went quickly. Why well, I wanted to get quickly. He has a rifle, so I wanted to get the heck out of there as soon as I possibly can. We can avoid him completely. And now that he is not worried about... Or rather, we don't have to worry about him. And the hangar door is open. We can go and uh, check out that UFO. Or not UFO. Alien spacecraft. We know what it is. It's not unidentified. Okay, so here it is. whoop de doo And... There's another room over here, which we can't really do much in yet, but there's a button here that's going to open up a trap door above this ladder, and it's going to let us get to the top, and we want to get up here. We want to get on top of the alien spacecraft, because somebody left a launch code pass up there. Not sure what he was doing up there, or why they keep the launch pass code on top of the UFO. Not sure. Not a UFO. I keep saying UFO. I don't want to say that. It's a alien spacecraft. We know what it is. We know what it is. Not unidentified. Not flying either. Okay. So, what we can do is uh, a quick way to do this is just run and jump over to this catwalk above the spacecraft. 
and then fall off onto the top of it, claim the launch code pass, and then slide off this side, and leave. Now we want to go back, because we're going to go, that launch code pass is a launch code to launch the rocket, the large rocket that we saw earlier. So avoiding these laser beams, let's make our way back. And I'll actually grab those shotgun shells that I missed before. They're over here in the track area on the ground. I'll light a flare. Now, let's go back over here. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, by the way, you don't want to step on the track. That'd be bad. The track electrifies you and kills you. We uh, don't like dying, especially when we haven't saved. And that reminds me, maybe I should save. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my 71 cr save crystals and save the game. There we go. Let's move on. I'm going to use the same tactic I did before to uh, hop over this. Hopefully I make it. I, m I missed it once, so... <laughs> and uh, yeah, we want to wait for that beam to go back, because we will hit that. We don't. Run and jump, grab in the air while you're descending, and you'll grab the ledge. It's quicker. If you don't feel safe, you can use the monkey bars up above. Alright, now we're gonna fall back on top of this little train deal. Fall off into here, and we're heading all the way back to the rocket, so. And now we wanna fall into that hole that we bypassed earlier. At the very end of this corridor, there's a lever that's going to clearly open up this door. And this is going to place us underneath the rocket. Yeah, underneath it. What a great place to be for a launch. And that makes me wonder, why did they, pre they place the launch button underneath the rocket? I mean, I understand it for game purposes, but this is not real. Alright, so that thing is going to go. We need to tumble and run as fast as we can to get away from that. Um, just press the look button to avoid any uh, camera angles you don't like. And wait for the flames to, just, to uh, subside. And then you're clear to go. Now what launching the rocket did is it lowered a trap door thing inside of the rocket area that we can now go up. And we can go claim some more items. So let's do these things that I speak of. And it's going to be over here to the left. Here we are, back in the um, silo that contained the rocket. The rocket's gone. And up here is where I killed the guy and he dropped the disc. It would be to my right where I'm at now, and there is a trap door that is now open that we can continue climbing up. This is what all of this has done. And now we can just get off of here before we climb up that next ladder you see there to the right. There is a large med pack on a ledge across the way. So grab that because large med packs are nice for when you actually are using med packs. And now let's climb up. And I'm going to climb up on the right side. Because there's going to be a guy with a nightstick up here. And uh, we're going to be the furthest from him if we get off on the right side here. So let's get off. Hopefully have my gun selected. Just be careful. I uh, didn't turn or anything, which is how I knew I could jump safely. I was pretty, I lined up pretty straight. Alright, so over here is a lever. We pull this lever, opens these doors, and we get another laser trap thing. And this one's a little bit more difficult than the previous ones. Okay, so it comes and oh, it goes. But we are timed because we gotta hop over this thing. Wait for it to come back and then just hop over it. I know it's dark, I'm sorry, but I don't have time to light a flare. 
there are s some monkey bars above there. You can jump and grab those and swing above it if you wish. Um, I just decided to do it the quick way. There are some grenades here, and then as we enter this next area, right here, this is the area. There's a um, there's a guard with a rifle up above on that platform up there. I'm gonna kill him first, and then there's a guy here with a nightstick that I'm gonna avoid and use my pistols on. Nice. And now let's climb this this watchtower. This guy up here dropped some MP5 ammo. So let's claim those, and then we're going to go in that room over there that, are, that was ahead of me that you can see down there, sort of lit up. Inside of there is another guy with a rifle, and he's going to come right around a corner, and so I'm just going to use my Desert Eagle. Blow him away. And he's dead. And he drops another code clearance disc. Which is awesome. So let's pull this lever. This lever here is going to open a trap door that's going to let us get back into the hangar area. We don't have to go all the way back the same way we came, which is nice. They didn't make us do that. But let's find that ladder. Here it is. So we can safely drop. Well, I guess it was pretty low anyway, but whatever. And we got another laser trap. They must have really liked these laser traps. This one is kind of tricky. You got to run and then duck underneath it. Oh, it got me. It got me. I should be fine still. And uh, this wall is climbable that I'm hopping down. And we enter. This is where we went up to see the alien spacecraft. So we're headed back that way. We have a code clearance disc, and I'll show you where that goes. We haven't been in the area. I mentioned the area, but we haven't gone into the area that requires the disc. So, yeah, just, uh... You can crawl underneath this beam, I think, also. It seems pretty high. But I'll just, like, hopping over it. It's quicker. So here's the craft, and over here is the room that is going to accept the code clearance disc. And then we get to see some more spooky things. Ooh. Come on, Lara, place the disc! The disc is placed. You hear a bunch of doors opening, and one of those doors is in the autopsy room. Ooh, and there's an alien on the bed. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. He's pretty big. I always thought they'd be smaller. Don't forget about the save crystal and the small med pack that is in this room. Alright, and then once we have those things, that's all that's in here, we can go into this room and claim some more stuff. Flares and Desert Eagle Clips. And you see that save crystal? That is the third and final secret of the level. We're going to get that here, and that's what's going to require me to... Uh, lose a lot of life. So let me get these goodies and then I'll go get that last secret before we head into the spacecraft Whoops, and finish the level. The spacecraft is now open. Once, once we put the uh, code clearance disc into that thing, it opened up the spacecraft, lit it up, and makes it look all pretty. And yeah. So let's climb up here. This is where we are going to get access to the third secret. Now, before when I came up here, I just jumped straight over to the catwalk. Well, now we have to kind of go all the way around the room in order to get access to the th to the third secret, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, things are how they are, I suppose. You can't go the other way because the slope is too slopey. Now, let's uh, be careful here, because if we fall off, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die, and even if I don't, then I'm going to have to start over. <laughs> or no, I saved it, since I should be good. Maybe I should save it again. Nah, who needs a save? I'm saving... I need the, I need the save crystals. I need them for something. 
Okay, and this is, should be the final jump onto these uh, supports or whatever you want to call them. And then do a running jump and grab in the air to f slide right into the secret. Now we have another laser trap that we got to be careful to avoid. Wait for the bottom one to go away and then fall down. And then wait for this one to come back and get out of its way. Whew, that was close. Slide off and we're going to go swimming with these whales. Totally reminds me of Finding Nemo. I can speak well! I'm horrible at voices, by the way. I love you! They don't attack you, so that's fine. Let's get out of here. Now we gotta be careful because we gotta go back through this laser trap again. Alright, so let's wait for this guy to come toward us. Then we'll wait for him to go away from us. And wait for him to come toward us again. And then let's uh, wait for the other top one to start going away before we climb up. And uh, we should have plenty of life. Let me double check that fact. Yeah, I've got plenty of life to make this fall. This is the fall that I've been talking about. See, it takes away a lot of life. So we're lucky that I still have plenty of life to get through this without using a med pack. Let's climb into this spacecraft and we're going to watch this thing just expands like boom and it's like ten times its size that it was before. And um, really not much explanation for this. Maybe Lawrence contraction, but we're not traveling near the speed of light. I don't know. Oh, he sees me. I gotta take him out quick. Desert Eagle, use it. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Now, I don't think there are any items inside the spacecraft except for the uh, artifact. Whoa, I better... So... Up here, there are, if you take your time, there's going to be two guards that spawn just randomly. So let's just go grab that thing and end this level really quickly, because I don't have a whole lot of life. And there we go. Oh, there they come. And that doesn't matter, because I just won. That was Area 51, guys. Got all the secrets, didn't use them the health pack. And that is the end of Nevada. I have completed India. I have completed London. I have completed the South Pacific Islands, and finally Nevada. That leaves only Antarctica left. I have four levels left in this game, guys. And hopefully I can get you guys the videos within a timely manner. If not, then I'm sorry. But I will see you guys there in Antarctica. I am Badass Games, and I will see you later. Goodbye.